Okay, in the last video, we added movement onto our sprite, so it allows us to move up and down and to change direction as well. But as you can see at the moment, my sprite is able to pass right the way through my red obstacle, so that's not quite right. So we're going to add two things in. The first thing we're going to do is program the sprite so it starts in a particular position. This is very easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my sprite down to here, because this is where I want the start to be. I'm going to use an event block here, which is the green flag. So basically, whenever I press the start of the game. And all I'm going to say is within the motion that I want it to start at a particular position. So I want it to start when the X axis is 176 and the Y axis is minus 125. I'm not typing that in. It's picking that up off the coordinates of the crocodile here. If I move the crocodile, you'll see they change here and they also change here. So all I have to do is drag the crocodile to the start position and drag the go to X there. Now, if I move my crocodile and I press on the green flag, you'll see it goes back to the start. My crocodile is facing left to start with. I'd quite like it to remain doing that. So I'm going to choose my costume and choose switch to costume left as well. And that way, if I press on the green flag, it also changes its direction. But I haven't yet programmed it to sense this block. Now, in order to do this, we need to use loops. So we can use a new event block, which again is going to be a green flag. That just going to tell us to start it at the beginning of the game. Then within the control section, I need a forever loop. This means it's constantly going to be checking. It's constantly looking for an instruction. And I now want to also add in an if block. Okay, so this says if something, then something. So in this case, if it senses something, then it will do an action. And in this case, I want to, if it's sensing, and I want to use the touching color block and pull it into there. Now, this is showing pink, and my maze is red, so this isn't going to work. So we're going to click on the pink. We're going to click on the color picker here, and I'm going to take my tool right up to onto here, and I'm just going to click. And you see this now changes to red to match with this one. So it now says, if the green flag's clicked, so if the game started, forever, and you can see it's lit up yellow already because it's now doing it, if something is touching red, then something must happen, okay? Now, what we want to happen is we want to have our crocodile sent back to the beginning. So we're going to say, go to, and because it's in the right position already, we can just drag that in. And now if I press play, and I use my arrow keys, he can happily move along. But if he touches the red, he gets immediately sent back to the beginning. So this starts to become a bit more of a challenging game, particularly because my crocodile doesn't really fit in the gap very well. You could add something else if you wanted to make it a bit more interesting. So you could add um, a looks message. Remember to use the one that's got a time on it. So you could say something like, oops. And when I press on the green flag again, <laughs> I pulled that in the wrong place, into the sensing block there. Okay. And then if he touches the red, he gets sent back to the beginning and he briefly says, oops. So the crocodile is now sensing its environment. We've got movement and we've got the opportunity to restart it.